Hey Aries, it's Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and we are about to do a reading for Aries today. If you have Aries anywhere in your chart, this reading may very well resonate with you, and it may very well not. So if it resonates with you, it hits home, that's awesome. Take what fits, leave what doesn't. That means that the cards are speaking to you today. If it doesn't resonate with you, check your other signs in your astrological chart because your sun sign today, which is Aries, is how you receive information from the world. Your moon sign is how you process that information. And your ascending sign or your rising sign is how you spit that information back out into the world. And your Venus sign is just simply how you give and receive love. So um, check those other signs and um, you'll be amazed at the synchronicities between your signs and the different videos. And it's a pretty cool thing. So check it out if this doesn't resonate with you. Even if it does resonate with you, check it out anyway because it's, it's a pretty cool thing. What else? Um, thank you all just like amazingly. Thank you you all for um the for just just hitting me up off the hook for the personal tarot card readings i mean i am just so humbled i really really am i am so humbled um you just don't even know and i i love to read for you guys i love to do it so if you would like a personal reading just like this just for you just for your situation 40 bucks will hook you up at taurus star tarot Dot com. You can choose your day. You can choose your time. I'll show up. The cards will show out and we will tell you your own personal story. Um, and I think that's it. So let's get to the point. So this reading today started out with the Queen of Cups, right? And it was just a little bit too ambiguous for me. So I asked for a clarifier. Well, the tarot spit out, uh, what, six, five, five, five cards and a little bit of a storyline. So this is the precursor to the beginning of this reading, right? So Aries, showing up right out front for your reading right there with the, with the emperor. This card, is about, this card is about control, authority, establishment, and structure in your life. What comes after that is the wheel of fortune. This is good luck, right? It's life cycles, one life cycle ending, a new life cycle beginning, and a turning point in your destiny. This is um, reward from the universe for a job well done. So you got it together. You have con uh, control, you have structure, authority, establishment in your life. You have it under control. I mean, the emperor, he's kind of the control freak of the tarot deck. He has, you have your life under control, at least according to um, karmic law in the universe, right? Because the wheel comes in and says, now you're going to be allowed to change into a new life cycle. You've learned what you need to learn from that life cycle, and you're getting ready to turn into a new life cycle. We only get to do this when we've actually learned what we're supposed to learn from the, from the life cycle that we were in, right? A lot of people, most people, spend eternity repeating the same life cycle over and over and over again because they just don't get it, right? But you get it, Aries. You get it and you're being allowed to move on. Judgment comes in and says that um, you're about to make a huge decision in your life, a very, very big decision. Judgment is about um, having an absolution to the situation. You know, we can make a decision and roll it around in our head forever, and it's absolutely meaningless unless it's executed. And once a decision is executed, it changes the trajectory of your life, right? So now your focus is somewhere other than where it used to be. It gives you a, a rebirth in a way, right? This decision that you're about to make right there is just that. It is, it is going to change the trajectory of your life and give you a, a rebirth in the way with this cycle right here, a rebirth into a new cycle because of this decision that you're making right here. This decision either will send you on a new beginning or a new journey, or this decision is a new journey and a new beginning. To plan your future. It's a new journey and a new beginning 
to plan your future with the Two of Wands. This is about making progress, um, decisions to make, discovery, if planning for your future, right? So the universe is allowing you to move into a new cycle of your life because you have come to an absolution within yourself about taking a new journey and having a new beginning in life in order to move forward and plan your future. The door has been open, right? The door has been open. Now, to the beginning of the reading, to the Queen of Cups, right? This is you feeling emotionally secure, calm, cool, collected, knowing that you know that you know, right? Because you just came off of this, right? Knowing that you know that you know. What do you know? You know, look, Prince of Pentacles, you know what you want in your future. You know exactly what you want in your future. With the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is all about um, persistence and resilience. You know what you want. And whatever it is that you want has taken some persistence and some resilience from you. Right? Followed by the Two of Pentacles. Calling for balance. Prioritization. And adaptability. This Two of Pentacles is followed by the Princess of Swords. So with the Princess of Swords, that's the Page of Swords, um, you have something that you want to say. You have something that you want to say that is going to create a change, a transformation, and a transition in your life. These words that you're about to say right here, haven't said them yet, but you want to is going to be a change and a transformation, a transition in your life. With the Prince of Wands following the death card, saying that this is, this is, uh, lost my train of thought. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Aries. This princess of swords is you really, really, really badly wanting to tell about this, this change, this transformation, this transition in your life, um, with, with, because it makes you excited. This is a card of energy and passion and lust and action and adventure, right? So you're just feeling, you're pumped, pumped about a change in your life and with the princess of swords you really really want to tell somebody about it this ace of wands comes in and says that this change that you are getting ready to implement in your life is all about um, a new beginning right this is about an inspired powerful creative new beginning in your life what is all of this about aries what? Followed by the Five of Pentacles, being left out in the cold. Followed by the Seven of Wands, challenge, feeling guarded. By the Eight of Swords, up in your head, super hard. About manifesting a new prosperous beginning. With the Prince of Swords coming in, being Again, talkative and curious energy, right? Didn't we just have him back here somewhere? Yeah, the Princess of Swords. Okay, yeah, the Princess of Swords. The Prince of Swords. The Prince of Swords is the Knight of Swords, right? He is action-oriented communication. He's action-oriented oriented communication. So you are going to speak your truth, Aries, 
because you want this new beginning here, right? And to get this new beginning, you need to speak your truth. You're going to speak your truth about either being left out in the cold or leaving somebody out in the cold. You're going to speak your truth about feeling guarded, about um, feeling challenged, about competition maybe, but you're going to speak your truth about feeling guarded for sure. You're going to speak your truth about the Eight of Swords, about how you've been racked in your head for a long, long time. You're going to speak your truth about this Five of Cups. You're going to speak your truth about loss, regret, disappointment, despair, right? And you're going to move on. You're going to speak your truth about all of that, and you're going to move on with the Ace of Pentacles manifesting a brand new, prosperous beginning the Prince of Swords. That's what you're going to talk about right there. That's what you're going to tell. You're going to tell about all of that. Then you're going to come over here and tell about this, this Ten of Cups. You're going to tell about how you want harmony and happiness and values alignment in your life. Maybe you want to get married. Maybe you don't. But you're going to tell about how you want harmony and happiness and values alignment in your life. The Princess of Cups, you're going to tell about your feelings. You're going to share your feelings. And then you're going to crash and go into the hermit mode. <laughs> That's funny. <coughs> Choked on my spit. I'm sorry. Okay, that's just funny. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so you're going to talk about the Ten of Cups. You're going to talk about your feels, and then you're going to go into the hermit mode. <laughs> when you're in this hermit mode, when you're doing some soul searching and some introspection, you know, seeking some inner guidance, being alone a little bit, you are contemplating um, this Four of Pentacles right here. You are contemplating your control your stability, your security in your life. You're, you're just kind of, um, kind of just sitting tight and really just kind of seizing up for a minute and just going into hermit mode and trying to figure some things out. Tara, what is Aries trying to figure out? What is Aries trying to figure out right here? What is Aries trying to figure out? Oh, uh. What is Aries trying to figure out? Aries is trying to figure out. I think that went like that. Okay, hangman. Okay, not only the hermit mode, not only the hermit mode, not only in self-protection lockdown mode, but now you are in hangman mode on top of all of it. <laughs> Aries <laughs> freaked yourself right out, didn't you? So you're in hermit mode, you're in lockdown self-protection mode with the four of pentacles, and now you're in the hangman mode, right? What are you what are you contemplating? What are you locked down about? What is the hermit? What is the hangman? What is all of this right here? What this is is judgment. It's that decision. It's this decision, right? It's this decision. It's the decision that brings you absolute celebration and joy in your life. What is this decision, Tara? What is this decision that Aries is making right here? Oh, you're making the decision to be the king of cups. You're making a decision about love, Aries. Making a decision about love. Look, there's the King of Swords about to just about to just bring it down and just say this is this is my decision. Boom. This is what it is. What's this about? This decision, this 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 panic attack that you have right here. It's not funny, I'm sorry. But this panic attack that you have right here is a is about having harmony home, marriage, celebration, community. It's about building a solid foundation by which you can create your life. That's a pretty big decision. I would have gone into hermit mode too. This is a big decision right here. In pursuit of 
the Ten of Pentacles, the gold, the golden opportunity, right? Wealth, family, establishment, the be all to end all, security out the wazoo, right? And then you have the devil. What's that devil about? So you're going to make this huge decision about potentially marriage, but definitely about coming together and building a life with somebody. Ten of Pentacles just reiterates that. And we have the devil on top. What is this devil about? What is this devil? Because what we have next is the Three of Swords. Let me ask. Let me ask a question before I speak. Before I speak, let me ask a question. Tarot, can you please share with me what this devil card is about? No, not a, not a book, baby. Just, uh, just a couple of cards. Or so. You know, let's try it one more time. Uh, I always feel bad if I don't take them because sometimes they make sense, okay? So let's see, the Seven of Wands. We've got guarded. Nine of Swords. Ooh, the devil again. So we have the Nine of Swords. King of Wands. The devil. Commitment. Indecision. The devil between the King of Wands and commitment. Oh, look at you. Look at you, Aries. That's what this is right here here. So you have all of this commitment oriented stuff right here, right? You have all of this commitment oriented stuff. And then we have the devil show up. When I asked what this devil is about, this is what came out. This devil is about feeling guarded. This devil is about having anxiety. Uh, a lot of anxiety, not just a little anxiety, a lot of anxiety. About what? About what? This is my card of Aries. To me, this King of Wands is half Scorpio and half Aries. Always has been, always will be. There's a huge story behind it. But this King of Wands right here, he is a player a little bit, right? I mean, he can be a lot of different things, but this guy right here, right now in this reading, this King of Wands, this Aries slash Scorpio card is a player. And, and he is hot and he is confident and he is cocky and he just really enjoys his confident cockiness and he, he likes it. He likes it. Devil comes in as a barrier between commitment and you. So is this possible? Now this isn't gonna resonate with everybody. Doesn't have to be you. Put it where it fits, leave the rest of it behind. But what I'm saying is that you're all up in your head, super hard, guarded, right? We've got the devil, we have Guarded energy right there. Guarded. Nine of Swords hard in your head. King of Wands because you're a badass and the devil stands between you and proper commitment. And because of that, you are at a crossroads and at an indecision. I'm just saying what the cards say, okay? I don't have a personal opinion about it. It's not me saying anything. It's just what the cards say so if that fits for you awesome if it doesn't that's okay too but I completely understand how you feel right there I mean being single you know I mean there's I'm single there's there's a lot of good things about being single a lot of good things about being single and I enjoy my own company a lot so I don't really have a problem being single would I? Yeah, sure. If the right person came along and things all worked out and everything was great. Uh, yeah, but I'm not, um, I don't need to fill that spot in my life. So I understand what it means to be single and feeling your singlehood and feeling your bad assness, right? 
I, I understand what it means to feel like this King of Wands, right? He likes attention. He, he's, he's cocky and he's okay with it, right? He owns his cockiness. But that is the barrier between him and real commitment. He's afraid to give that up. And the Two of Swords comes in and agrees and says you have indecision and um, at a crossroads in your life right here. Three of Swords, what? Painful separation, sorrow, heartbreak, grief, rejection. But the Queen of Swords comes in here. Queen of Swords, she's going to cut that out. Okay, that was before, that was some other time, that was not right now. This that you linger, that you hold on to right here, this broken heart, okay, this, this painful separation, grief, sorrow, rejection, the Queen of Swords is putting an end to it all. She's cutting it out. She says, no more. We don't have time for that bullshit anymore because we have things to do. The world card comes in and talks about a completion and integration and accomplishment and traveling, right? Talks about integrating all of your feels, bringing it all together, integrating this king of wands and the devil and the commitment and all of this stuff that has you having this panic attack right here and all of it, right? Integrating all of it. It's a completion of one life cycle in the beginning of a new life cycle, right? And you are either going to be traveling, like physically traveling, or you are ready to travel into the next phase of your life, right? And the Queen of Swords says, no, 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 to this broken heart mentality. No. Get over it, right? That's what the Queen of Swords says. Not me. Queen of Swords says, get over it, because that's how she is. That's how she talks, right? She's like, get over it. World card. World card comes in. Completion, right? Integration, accomplishment. What happens to you at this point, Aries, is you have absolute mental clarity about what you want and how you're going to go forward in life. Because what you want is this, right? What you want is this change in your life. What you want is this new beginning. What you want is to, to let go of all of this pain from the past, right? What you want is the Ten of Cups. What you want is to tell somebody how you feel about them. But you freak out about it. What you want is to be the king of cups. What you want is celebration and happiness, right? But this, this devil right here, this holds you back. This ego, this ego, right? This ego that keeps you as the king of wands in your mind. The ego that is the barrier between you and true commitment ego that keeps you at a crossroads and an indecision. Now you have absolute mental clarity about what you're going to do and where you're going to go, right? Because the Queen of Swords cut out a lot of bullshit in your life. Not only did she cut out the, 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 the wallering and the heartbreak, but she cut out all of this too, right? She cut it out. New cycle beginning, mental clarity, strength, not just strength, inner strength, courage, and trusting yourself because you want to reunite or reconcile with somebody from your past. That's what you want. That's what the cards say you want. I don't know if you want it or not, but it's what the cards say you want. There you are again, the king of wands. Badass you are, Aries. Badass. Male, female, don't matter. You badass. You badass. You want to be the king of wands to the queen of pentacles. This queen of pentacles has been haunting your readings for like two months now. It's a queen of wands and the queen of pentacles have been just, just cycling through your reading. I'm not seeing the queen of wands anywhere in here, but I do see this queen of pentacles, right? You want to be this king of wands to this queen of pentacles. 
you want to come together and, and engage with that Queen of Pentacles. You want to work on it. You want to gain mastery. You want to make it work with that Queen of Pentacles. Princess of Wands proves it. Princess of Wands says enthusiasm, exploration, discovery, free spirit, excitement, right? The idea of this excites you. There you go one more time, right? There you go. In your intuition, sitting down with your high priestess and working out and working out sitting down with your intuition, trying to make, hopefully trying to make a head and heart decision that come together as one. This is making a decision with your intuition. What we need to do as, as human creatures is to use our, our cerebral intellect with our spiritual intuition mesh them together, combine them, have them meet in the middle and make life decisions based off of a combination of both. Not just a head over heart or a heart over head, but both coming together in meeting, right? And this is what you're trying to do right here with, that, with the sit down with your intuition and the high priestess. You're trying to make a good solid decision about being the king of love, about, about love, about the way that you feel about love, about conflict that you have felt in the past, right? But you're open to change now. You, 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 you have felt conflict and, and maybe even some betrayal with this broken heart up here. Somebody has in this relationship has felt that in the past, but the five of swords also um, stands for being open to change, right? So being open to change, change from the, from the King of Wands and the devil into commitment. <clears throat> That's what you're doing. You want the nine of cups. You want your wishes fulfilled, right? You want comfort, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction in your life. And that's what your sit down with the high priestess is about. It's about what makes you happy with the sun card. It's about what makes you happy. And what, what happens when you come out of the sit down with the high priestess about what genuinely makes you happy? You're going to go be somebody's knight in shining armor. You are. This is a card about romance and charm and being someone's knight in shining armor. Even if you're a chick, you can be someone's knight in shining armor, a savior, right? Romance, charm, two of cups, unified love, partnership, relationships, six of wands, right? This is all about, about victory and progress and self-confidence and public recognition. It better be public recognition because you're fixing to lay down the hierophant on top of all of it. This is commitment right? This is commitment to a person. Commitment that is like out in the open. I am with this person. We are together. She is mine. He is mine. And we are just all one big happy family because this is how it all worked out. Wow, Aries, that is amazing. So you have a couple of things to work through. You have a couple of things to work through. You're excited about this change in your life, though. That's for darn sure. Speaking your truth over here, getting rid of all of that baggage, this new beginning right there. Ace is all over the place. Right? That's a good reading, Aries. Yeah, that's awesome. What time are we at? Should I go back and do a recap? Um... No, we're at 30 minutes. We really are. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. This was your reading, Aries. If you want to kick off now, this is a good stopping point for us to part ways. But I'm going to stay around. I'm going to go through this reading real quick one more time. Real quick, though. So you'll have to pay close attention because I'm going to talk fast. And we're going to go through this real quick just to give you a recap. All right. Let's go. The Emperor. You got your shit together. 
the wheel. This is this is it. This is a reward from the universe. You have learned what you're supposed to learn in the past lesson, and your new your new karmic cycle is about to begin because of a decision that you are making to take a new journey, to have a new beginning in life and be able to plan for your future. You are releasing karma right there. Some kind of karmic cycle that you were in is now over and you can move forward. Planning for your future. Love, okay? Coming coming to the table right here with emotional security, calm, cool, collected. Excuse me, you know that you know that you know that this is where you're supposed to be. Planning for your future, planning for your future, planning for your future. The nine of wands, because of persistence and resilience, right? Because of persistence and resilience, you are in the position that you are in now. You are strong, right? You're going to have balance and prioritization in your life. Balance and prioritization. You want to say something really bad to somebody about about um, a change, a transformation, a transition that you're about to embark on in your life with the Prince of Wands saying that, uh, that, that you are excitedly about to embark on this. You are just like, woohoo, let's go, right? What are you doing? You're having some kind of a, of a spectacular, inspired, powerful, creative new beginning in your life. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. What comes next? Five of Pentacles. Being left out in the cold. Seven of Wands. Feeling guarded, right? Eight of Swords. All up in your head. Hard about the situation. Five of Cups. What are you up in your head hard about? About loss, regret, disappointment, and despair. What are you going to do now? You are going to move on. You are going to forgive the situation and you are going to leave all of those bullshit feelings in the past in pursuit of manifesting a brand new beginning, a prosperous brand new beginning. In the Prince of Swords, you're going to go tell somebody about it. You're going to go tell somebody about it. You're going to tell somebody about how you want the Ten of Cups. You want harmony, marriage, happiness, and values alignment in your life. With the Princess of Cups, you're going to send messages of feels to somebody. You absolutely are. But then, boom, ah, mm, seized, seized up in the hermit mode. In the hermit mode, self, self-exploration, introspection, right? With the card of self-protection as the Four of Pentacles. The hangman on top of the hermit making decisions hard, hard, hard thinking about things. Coming out on the other side with an absolute concrete decision about who you are and what you're going to do with yourself. Three of Cups says celebration. King of Cups says what do you want to do with yourself? You want to be the king of love. That's what you want to do. Then we have this big old chunk over here. We have the King of Swords. You are absolutely going to execute a decision. You are going to tell somebody. Now you've escalated from the Prince of Swords, from the, from the page, from the page back here, underneath there, from the page right there to the Prince, now to the King, right? The page is the trigger. The prince is the delivery method. The king, the queen is the contemplator and the king is the executioner, right? You're about to execute this decision with the four of wands. You're about to execute a decision about, about building a foundation for your life. With the ten of pentacles, building a foundation for your future. But lo and behold, you got that devil energy, just that ego just coming in and making you feel super guarded about doing so, making you second guess yourself, throwing you up in your head and, and just, just keeping you up at night, just racked with anxiety because you are a badass. You are a badass who is afraid to give up that badassness in exchange for commitment. And you are at an indecision and a crossroads. Broken heart, painful separation, right? Queen of Swords is coming in, cutting that out. She's cutting that out because you have things to do. 
You have things to do with yourself and you cannot waller on this. You cannot be in this energy right here. Oh, just knock my cards on the floor. You cannot be in this energy right here. You can't do it. You have more important things to do. So the Queen of Swords is cutting that bullshit out. She's cutting it all out. And she's like, Aries, come on, dude. We have shit to do. This is a completion, an integration, an accomplishment of a life cycle. You can't hold on to that baggage. We got to go. And you do. And you do. Where do you go? You come right over here with some mental clarity about the whole situation. You need strength. You need inner strength. And you also need to trust yourself because you do want to reconcile and reunite with somebody from your past. This King of Wands, that's you again. You want to be the King of Wands to this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is most likely this person from your past. What do you want to do? You want to come together. You want to engage. You want to work on something. You want to gain mastery of your relationship. Princess of Wands says that you are just off the hook, excited and happy about it, filled with passion. One more go round, though. One more go round with the high priestess, with your intuition, really thinking about it. When you're sitting down with this high priestess, what are you talking about? You're talking about how you love, right? You're talking about how you love. You're also talking about um, how there was conflict and tension and loss and defeat and betrayal that you just can't seem to get over. However, you are open to change, right? You work that shit out with the high priestess and now you're open to change. You want the nine of cups, right? You want wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction because this is what makes you happy. What makes you happy? Being somebody's knight in shining armor with the prince of cups, right? romance, charm in regards to a love relationship with the six of wands being not only, whew, not only um, victory, progress, and self-confidence, but public recognition as well, topped off with the Hereford commitment. There you go, Aries. That's your reading. I do hope it helped. I hope it gave you some perspective and all that good stuff. If you need anything from me, you can reach me at TaurusDartero.com. 40 bucks, hook you up. And uh, namaste, my friends.